we're going to talk about style. It, it, you know, it was just Fashion Week, and from Milan to Paris, and, and the New York Times reports that one shape was everywhere, Drew, and it was the suit. And it's not just Gucci and Versace. There's a huge trend of people taking off their sweatpants. <clears throat> I'm looking at you. Because I wear them too much, I know. Every morning, it's headed to a sweatpants. Every day, even on dates, and then my friends get mad at me. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, well, they should know the real deal. But, but look what's happening. Thank you. <laughs> That's... I'm like, if you're not into Netflix and takeout, we should just not bother. Yes. I like you in sweatpants. I'm just, this was fashion week. All you know? right. Fashion. Well, so what's the latest in fashion, Rossi? Well, it's suits? The, it's suits for women. Check out Zendaya. Here's Zendaya. Yeah. Uh, Sandra. Uh-huh, right. Oh. These bold colors. Sandra O, oh, Sophia Bush. That is, okay, your sweatpants are cute, but hello. Yeah, no, I can't, it doesn't compare with that, those three gorgeous women. But you show up, you, you do show up for fashion. And in fact, check out this fashion maven at New York Fashion Week. <laughs> I'm wearing a... Hello, that's you in a suit. You're, the tr you're on trend. Oh, good. Oh, it's Christian Siriano put me in that suit. Love. Thank you, Christian. I love. He is such a good friend. He gets me out of the house. He gets me out of sweatpants. Yeah. All right. Well, um, this is interesting. I recently did my first Zoom date, and it wasn't as weird as I thought it was going to be. I think because we've all been so accustomed to Zoom at work and you know, with friends, and we're all sort of Zoom literate right now. Yeah, we so speak Zoom. We speak Zoom. Mm -hmm. Well, this story really spoke to me because it's about the Zoom world. The Albuquerque Journal reports that Animal Welfare Department there has started a virtual dating service to link pets and potential owners. Come on, cute. People looking to adopt can Zoom date with a pet first to check out their vibe before they meet in person, and the foster parents will operate the Zoom for the puppy or the kitty because, you know, they have no hands. Oh, yeah, well, they can't. Except for if you're Douglas, my dog, who gets behind the monitor here. Um, look, these are the potential pets you can meet. Oh. And, I mean, how can... There, there's my dog, Douglas. Oh, my gosh. Look at his paw. That He's wearing a wig, too. There he goes. There he goes. He's typing. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's working the monitor there. So unless, you know, unless you're Douglas, you're going to need a foster parent to man the keyboard. Um, and if all goes well, then you can meet up at the shelter to have an in-person date and see if the fit works as well as it did on Zoom. What do you think about this, Rossi? Well, this is such a duh, of course, thing, right? You know, there's animals in need all over the country, all over the world. And now you can Zoom with them or FaceTime or as they call it, muzzle time. <laughs> what on one, but what a great opportunity. You know, if you can't find the right animal near you, maybe it's across the country and this connects you. So I love this. Drew. I just think the next time you say, how was your Zoom call? And you can say he was a real dog. It yeah. actually could be a good thing.